Hello, uh, nice to have you once again on this uh, third lesson of what is sociology. Well, um, today I was walking on the street and I had an idea of giving a definition to the to the meaning of the of the cigarette and how uh, society used the cigarette as a sold as a way to identify uh, a social status or to give a process to the information that uh, uh, we are talking uh, with other people. So when you, when we use uh, the cigarette, we are smoking with someone else. Um, uh, we receive or we give the information in different ways. So I mean, uh, it's it's a little bit uh, weird to analyze um, uh, how the cigarette uh, have been a, a single symbol in the in the in the world in the process of socializations. So. Uh, in the antique movies, we saw constantly uh, people smoking, and the people uh, that smoked uh, were cool people. Were cool people. Uh, everybody likes uh, uh, to smoke on the movies to see I'm important. I'm part of this group, and I will be uh, social. Uh, I will have a social life. Um, acceptation uh, from the other people so um, when we see a, 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 a person that it's smoking uh, on the street or is smoking uh, outside uh, their works or it's smoking uh, after work is smoking in the night uh, it depends on the time that they are smoking how the, this symbol of smoking in the society have different meanings. So that's why I decided to uh, do the this analysis about this sociological analysis about the uh, cigarette in society. So it's it is not the same to smoke in a party with the friends and give uh, or share cigarettes to the others. And uh, the process of socialization it's very different. If I'm on my work and I uh, take out my box of cigarettes and turn on a cigarette and start to smoke, because I in this moment I want uh, maybe to to be alone to think about my situation and my work to think about. Uh, what uh, does my boss? If you have a boss. Uh, how, uh, what does my boss said a few minutes ago? What uh, results uh, he wants to uh, give to our our work? Uh, if you receive um, a punishment for from your boss or something like that, the the thing that you will want to do is to smoke a cigarette alone. So. The different to smoke a cigarette alone after work is very different when you are in a party and you want everybody to see your your face that you are smoking that you are cool that you are part of this group of friends uh, that uh, uh, when you are in the party so that's why uh, sociology is so cool because uh, sociology is sometimes uh, can be involved on on these different uh, definitions in the in the society for understanding how this works. In this case, is the the central theme is the cigarette. So um, the use of of the cigarette uh, when you are in the family, like example, maybe in the family, uh, your uncle, your aunt. Uh, your grandma will tell you, please don't smoke. We are on a family meeting. Uh, it's it's bad uh, to see you smoking because smoking kills. Smoking 
uh, damage uh, um, many parts of your body, blah blah blah. So the the argumentation that or the speech that we are going to listen uh, from the family it will be different. Uh, like if we uh, were on a party, maybe in the party the friends are going to be hey 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 please me please uh, give me another cigarette I want more or uh, uh, I, I mean a tobacco cigarette no no marijuana cigarette by the way because marijuana cigarette is it's very different the process of socialization the social status is not uh, uh, identified on the width it's very different uh, to smoke cigarette and to smoke weed. There are two uh, differentials, uh, um, and maybe it's illegal in your country. Maybe it's legal the weed, but it is different. The social status it's not uh, present on the on the people who smoke weed because uh, this is a stigma that we have from the from the uh, the people who smoke weed, they say they are bad, they say they damage their brain, and all, all these biological and scientific uh, explanations that uh, you can find on other YouTube videos. So, <clears throat> um, retaking the thing of the cigarette, the cigarette uh, represents for someone uh, a person that can't control their emotions, that can't control their feelings, and the first thing that uh, he do for control uh, these feelings, to control this headache, is to smoke in a cigarette. So uh, there are people that are mildly stronger and they don't need a cigarette for uh, to have a correct uh, process of socializations in the groups of work, in the groups of family, in the groups of friends, in any kind of group that uh, we find in, in society. So, um, uh, that's why uh, it's important, uh, every single movement that uh, we see in the society, every single uh, action that uh, uh, groups of people do like smoking, like uh, if, uh, if someone is running, if someone is walking, how he walks, um, I mean the, the meaning of the body, how he smokes, if he, he smokes with the style, if he smokes too much frequently, then uh, if he smokes uh, uh, 21 cigarettes uh, per day, we are going to freak out like what is happening in the mind of this dude and the process of socialization and, uh, and acceptation from the others would be different as a people that uh, just smoke one cigarette on a day. So it's important uh, to have these meanings because uh, Analyzing all this context that I have been talking, uh, talking about uh, this meaning of sociology of the cigarette, it's uh, just um, my purpose is just to make you to understand how uh, this uh, analysis works on the on, on the society. So uh, maybe like. Uh, 21 years ago, it was legal to smoke in the in the places, to smoke in the restaurant, to smoke in public uh, sites. But nowadays, in almost all the countries, it is not permitted to smoke in public areas. Uh, that's why you can't enter uh, to a place smoking. Um, like if nothing happens. So this started uh, to know because people started to get angry uh, for the smoke or maybe they have um, a health problem, they have asthma or they have uh, something in, uh, in inside the bodies that uh, doesn't accept the smoke as something good. So that's why the law in many countries 
science uh, this decade changed and that's why uh, it is not more permitted to smoke in public areas so um, another thing that I want to analyze in this uh, sociological analysis of the cigarette is that um, like example in some casinos in Mexico you can enter and it's a public uh, uh, it's a public place in which you can play you can bet you can do uh, a lot of things and even you can smoke in the casino so why you can smoke in the casino if, if the law said that you can smoke in public areas and um, it it will uh, you have to pay if if you uh, do not accomplish the law as they told you you have to pay a, a tax for uh, breaking uh, the law so in casinos it is permitted to smoke uh, all, uh, at, at least in Mexico it's permitted to smoke even if it's a public area so that's why uh, the situation the environment uh, depends a lot of of the situation that is the central conclusion of this video how the places uh, the place change the meaning of of the law the meaning of the process of socializations and how they are uh, accepted to us so uh, the example of the casino is a, it's a very good example now uh, we uh, we saw the evolution of the restaurants that uh, were almost all closed uh, there was no places for smokers and nowadays um, they are constructing new restaurants in which uh, there are certain areas that you can smoke so that's why uh, the sociological analysis of the smokers that they are uh, they are excluded groups but they are excluded groups because of the law because of the law change the perspective of the society changed so what it was wrong yesterday maybe tomorrow it will be right that's how sociology is constantly changing the meaning of of the laws So um, I, I I don't want uh, to do this video too long. Uh, I just want you to give a, a central perspective of uh, how the sociology can be used in in any kind of analysis, in any kind of process. So another thing I want uh, uh, to let you know is that sometimes. Um, these things that uh, happen for someone that everybody is smoking and if someone is not smoking it's like why he is not smoking maybe he have a different way uh, to think for the people that really smoke so uh, we can make a sociological study of how the people that smoke how the people that smoke thinks and how the non-smokers thinks so I think they they think, uh, I think that they think that um, uh, it is it is not. Uh, I mean, um, the uh, their their perspectives. I think that their perspectives are very different. So uh, that's why uh, non-smokers are not accepted on certain groups and smokers. At not at not accepted of sentence group, but but what happened when uh, we have a particular situation and we have we are in a party and maybe we see uh, people that uh, it's uh, go outside for taking a smoke. I the first thing that I'm going to think is that what is happening in his mind. He maybe he he's thinking about something serious he have a problem in his mind or he just like to smoke so 
this is uh, when another people or another woman um, or another gentleman enters with the woman or enter, enters with the man and which uh, it skates um, enters and say oh what's happening to you and then he goes on and turn on a cigarette and then the process of socialization begins so that's why it's very important uh, the, this sociological analysis of how the society is looking to the cigarette um, maybe I, I can talk uh, later more about the way the other drugs that are used in society and how these groups are involving into the society into uh, certain uh, ways to think that are many different so remember this can be study for the sociology so thank you very much for watching this video uh, please like and share and write your comment down there if you want to visit my blog and my website I have my webpage uh, down there I will be um, uploading uh, my works from the university from uh, for them due to uh, have an idea of how uh, we work the sociology on Mexico City and of the National University of Mexico. Uh, thank you very much for watching and subscribe. Have a very nice day.